At this point, we're done with the implementation of our tip calculator. In this video, our goal is to add some color, animation, and personalization into the app. So we'll start off with the footer at the bottom. A lot of apps or websites have this where it says, you know, made with love in California or made with love by this person. So we're going to start off by adding a text to at the bottom of the screen. So let's go into Android Studio, open up the activity main.xml and scroll down to the bottom and we're going to drag out one text view here. Let's give it an ID of TV footer. And then the text will be made with love by Rahul. And of course, you can personalize this however you want. Um, to constrain it, we're going to have this horizontally be in the center of the screen. So we're going to add a left and right constraint to make it centered. And then we're going to make it 32 dp from the bottom of the screen. I also want to add a couple of different style tweaks here. First is all caps. I want to make everything here capitalized. And I want to change the font to be sans serif condensed light. And then finally, I want to make this a little bit larger, make it text appearance medium. Okay, and finally, I want to change the love word with the emoji. And you can either add this to your keyboard, or another way to do this is if you just Google for heart emoji, then the first result that comes up gives me an option here to copy and paste the emoji, paste that in. And it looks a little bit weird in the preview, but it does show up properly when you render it in the design. And if we check it out in the app, awesome. That looks pretty good. The next thing I like to do is update the color scheme. So we move away from these default status bar color, color primary, and this background white. So let me explain where these colors are coming from. There's one very important file that must exist in every single Android app. And that's called the Android manifest file. So if we open that up, then this file describes all the different components of your application, the permissions, for example, if your app needs internet permission, and much more. And the important line for us is right here on line 11, where we're describing the theme of our application. And this is a file that automatically gets created for us when we create the empty project. So I'm going to jump to the definition here. And you'll see you have two different files here, one for normal theme and one for night theme. And the one that we're currently looking at is normal. I'm going to open that up. And this is where we're getting the colors for uh, the default application that we have. So in order to update the colors, we're going to have to define uh, new colors and then replace them here. We can take a look at where this file lives by hitting this option, select open file. And we can see that it lives inside of resources, values, and a themes directory. And the colors are also defined inside of colors.xml in the values directory. And each of the colors is defined as a hexadecimal value, purple 500, and so on. So our job is let's figure out what colors we want and then add them here. And then we'll reference them inside of the themes of XML file. So in order to figure out what colors you want, there's a couple different options. I'll show you what I typically do. If you go to color.adobe.com, there's this really nice tool where you figure out what kind of color scheme you want. So there's a couple different options here. You can pick the color harmony rule, analogous, monochromatic, triad, and so on. Once you're happy with something, then you can scroll down and grab the hexadecimal values here. So I did this exercise already, and here are the colors I came up with. I'm going to have one which is called primary blue, darker blue, and background blue. So let's go ahead into the colors XML and define these. So the first one is going to be called primary blue, and that has this value. The next one is background blue or the next one is darker blue. And then finally we have background blue. So now in themes XML, I updated the color primary to be primary blue. And then I updated the primary variant to be darker blue. And that's going to be the color of the status bar. And then finally, in order to have a background color on the whole app, I'm going to add one more attribute here, which is called background color, Android color background. And that is going to be the background blue that we have. Let's try it. Awesome. That looks great. So we're getting very close now to the desired end state. We have the footer and we have the customized color. The last thing I want to talk about is this animation on the tip description. And here's actually what this looks like. 
As the user is scrubbing, we will dynamically update the color of that word that's used to describe the current tip percentage. And it'll go from red if it's a very bad tip to a really bright green if it's a really good tip. Not only that, but we're also gonna be changing that word or that adjective used to describe the tip percentage. So it gives the user some really nice interactive feedback about what kind of tip they're leaving. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is let's add a text view beneath the seek bar and increase the vertical distance between these two text views. So close out these other editor windows because we don't need to look at them again. In activity main, what we'll do is first increase the distance between the 24%, which is the tip percent label and the TV tip label. So let's increase the margin here to be 56. Next, let's drag out one more text view. And we'll call this TV tip description. And then the text should be empty because that will depend on the initial tip percent, which is set programmatically. But to get a better sense of what this might look like, we are going to use a tools namespace and just say acceptable here. That looks good. And now we need to position this horizontally and vertically. So vertically, it's going to be right below the seek bar tip bar. And we'll add a margin here of maybe 8 dp. And then we want these two to be horizontally aligned. So horizontal centers. Great. And you can see how it added the left and right constraints. So it'll be right in the middle. And you can see the error also went away. So now back in main activity, we need to get a reference to that text view. So I'll say the ID here was TV tip description. So we're going to say TV tip description, get a reference to it here. And every time the seek bar is changed, that is where we have the potential now to update the language on that text view. So I'm going to have one more method here called update tip description. And let's have Android Studio help us to create this because this method doesn't exist yet. And one thing we'll do actually is as a parameter into the update tips description method, I'd like to pass in the progress int. So progress. And again, Android Studio can now help us to add this as a parameter into the function that we have defined. So tap that red light bulb and have Android Studio help us to add the parameter. And all it did here is it just added a parameter. Um, and instead of calling it progress, I'm going to call it tip percent. And it's of type int. So now the idea is that based on the value of tip percent, we'd like to be able to say tv tip description dot text. And we'd like to be able to set it to you know, be something like good. And of course, this good will change based on the value. And the construct in Kotlin to be able to decide a value of something based on a set of conditionals is called when, which is similar to switch in Java. So I'm going to say val tip description is equal to when, and then depending on the value of tip percent, we'll take a certain action. So if tip description, if tip percent is between zero and nine, then the string should be poor. If it's between 10 and 14, we'll call it acceptable. Between 15 and 19, it'll be good. And when it's between 20 and 24, it'll be great. And there should be one extra period in here. And then finally, anything else, meaning that the value is above 24, then we'll say amazing. And so now instead of using good here, we'll just say tip description. And finally, before we test this out, one more thing I want to do is at the very beginning, when we are setting up our screen, which is, you know, in the on create method, as soon as we get all the references to each of the views, we also would like to call that method update tip description right here with the initial tip percent, just so that the language is always going to be in sync with what we start out with. Let's try it. So now hopefully we should see a text view right underneath the seek bar and the text on in that text view should change according to what we have selected 
through the seek bar. Okay, this looks promising already because initially the tip percent is 15, which means we fall into this branch of the when statement. And that means that the value should be good. That's good. And then if we bring it down to zero, we get poor. And if we go all the way up, we should get amazing, which we do. One quick thing I want to do is back in activity main, I want to set the font weight of this to be bold. The textile should be bold to make it stand out a little bit more. Finally, the last thing I want to show is this interactive color animation, where if the user picks a very good tip, we show bright green. And if the user picks a bad tip, then we show a red color indicating something went wrong. Coming back into Android Studio, in mainactivity.kotlin, update tip description is where we're going to add the logic for updating the color based on the tip percent. The question is, how do we dynamically compute a color based on an integer? The way we'll do this is through a concept called interpolation, which is actually a fancy word for something which is conceptually quite simple. If I tell you I'm running 100 miles and I'm 75% of the way done, then you would tell me that I'm roughly at the 75 mile mark. And what you're doing in your head is linear interpolation. You're assuming I'm going at a constant speed, starting at zero, ending at 100, and therefore I'm at 75 miles. The same thing is exactly applying here. Every color can be represented as integer. So if I'm tipping 20%, then we're two thirds of the way between the very worst color and the very best color, which are two integers. And all we need to do is some simple math in order to compute what exactly that color value is for the tip description. The first thing we'll do is define the color for the worst and best tip. So open up colors.xml and let's add in color worst tip, color best tip. And I picked a red and green color like we talked about. So I'm gonna paste these values in for color worst and color best. So we have these defined. And now our job is simply to do some math. At zero, we should show worst tip. At 30, we should show the best tip. And everything else is some value in between. And this turns out to be so common that Android actually has something called ARGB evaluator to help with this, where we represent colors as integer values. A stands for alpha, RGB is red, green, blue, and it will help compute the color for us. So coming back into main activity, we're going to define a color and that will be coming from argb evaluator dot evaluate. And then this takes in three parameters. One is the fraction of where are we on this progress bar between zero and 30. Second is start value, which is the very worst color and the end value is the best color. So the fraction is simply going to be the tip percent, which is the parameter passed in divided by the maximum amount of tip, which is 30, and that's going to be seekbartip.max. Next, we need to get the very worst color, and the way we'll do that is contextcompat.getColor, pass in this, which is referring to the contact, and then the actual color that we just defined in the colors.xml, which is color worst tip. And then finally, we're going to provide the best color here. One issue you'll notice is that there's a type mismatch. We require a float, but we found an integer. So by default, because both the numerator and denominator are integers, we're going to do some sort of truncation, which we don't want. So the way to handle this is to cast one of the numerator or denominator to a float value, and that will resolve that. So now we have this color. All we need to do is set, set the color on the tip description text view. Set text color with the color. And finally, before, before we try this, we need to cast the result of the evaluate function call to be an integer because we know the values we're computing between our integers. So the color should be an int. And now we should be able to compile and run this just fine. So two things should happen now. One is we should bold the text. And second, there should be a color applied immediately. And based on what percent we pick, it should adapt as well. Okay, this looks good. So initially we have uh, a color right in between the green and red. And if I go all the way down to zero, you can see how it changes to red. And if I scrub upward to the best tip, which is 30, you can see how it slowly transforms from red to green. I like that a lot just because it feels much more interactive and dynamic now compared to what we had before. All right, so let's give it one, one last try. We're gonna put in $99 here for the bill. And then as I scrub you can see how everything updates appropriately if i backspace there's no crash i can enter in another amount and everything works just as we expect awesome so if this is your first ever android app that's amazing congratulations let me know in a comment 
The reason I really like the tip calculator, uh, there are so many ways you can extend this basic project that we have to make it more interesting. So a couple ideas I had, number one, you could split the bill by N people. So you could imagine that you go out to dinner with a number of people, you add in three or four, and then you should divide that total amount by three or four in order to make it easy for everyone to pay a certain amount. Second, you could add a button or some sort of component which allows the user to round the final amount up or down so there's no need to deal with change. And of course, there's a lot more that you could do in terms of design or color updates. So what I recommend now is complete any number of extensions, either the ones that we talked about or something that you came up with on your own. And then you can more or less publish exactly what you have on the Play Store. I won't walk through that here, but I'll leave a video in the description where I talk about how to do that. And I hope that you use this tip calculator as a starting point in your journey as an Android developer and you build many more apps in the future. If you enjoyed this, please drop a like and comment. Would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.